Michael Mercadante. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome back to day two of St. Seattle. So as I mentioned yesterday, uh, I had the pleasure of going to all three states this year, and we have had three states and three continents for three years now. Let's hear it for that success. So I am also really happy for the first time to be able to tell you about our subsequent states for the year to come. So we're going to have three next year. We're going to Spain, we're going to Japan, and we're going to Las Vegas. Yeah, let's hear it for Las Vegas. So, and I am going to let three people who are involved in the planning of those three states tell you more about them. Please welcome to the stage, David Wilrich, Managing Director of DJ Wilrich. Okay, this is going a little bit differently. <laughs> um, uh, SAITS Europe, for those of the, you who joined us um, this year in um, Park Asterix, will be at um, Port Ventura and Ferrari World next year in Spain. Um, we are block booking Hotel El Paso, so um, look out for the flyer and the hotel rates. Of course, we're very dependent on people volunteering to sponsor and speak. So if you uh, wish to speak and, and sponsor, please see myself, Matt Barton, who's president of the um, European Middle Eastern Division. Paul Kent, who you saw giving English lessons on stage yesterday, is also part of the team. And all three of us will be pleased to um, um, hear from you if you want to support SAIT in some way. And um, if you don't want to speak or sponsor, come. Now please welcome Michael Genova, Director of Entertainment and Engineering Design at UNLV. Hello, thank you. UNLV is very excited to welcome SAIT 2020 to the city of Las Vegas. Uh, UNLV is the di most diverse university in the nation, and it is recently recognized as a top tier institution. Uh, the conference is being brought by, is being sponsored by three colleges, the College of Hospitality, uh, which focuses on hospitality, restaurant management, uh, and students there receive excellent uh, degree. They're taught by professionals that is very close to the epicenter of hospitality, the Las Vegas Strip. Um, it's the home of my little innovative program, Entertainment Engineering and Design, where students, <laughs> thank you, students undergo engineering classes, but they're also paired with fine arts classes. Uh, they leave with a sound knowledge of engineering principles, and an understanding and a sensitivity to the aesthetics and the arts. So we welcome you to Las Vegas. Finally, please welcome Tomas Ichikawa, marketing at Panasonic. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, uh, the last time Olympic Games uh, were held in Japan, uh, in 1964 at Tokyo. And that was more than half a century ago. And many of you are not even born yet. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and the progress uh, that, was, that we have made during uh, these around 50 years is truly remarkable from how we watched event and how we participated in countless new technology and designs were introduced during the opening and closing ceremonies. Panasonic is proud to be the part of Olympic history for more than 40 years. 2020 will be a busy year for Japan with the return of the Summer Olympics. We are now working to get you closer to the action and the chance to explore Japanese hospitality speed, which is omotenashi. Omotenashi, you know, to you. We hope. You will join us. 
Thank you.